This video is presented as a response to a discussion started by a fellow Anime Galaxy member, the Cynical Noob. In his video, he introduced the possibility of Japan banning all anime. Now, whilst it is, of course, pretty much impossible to the point that pigs would sooner fly, it raises an interesting discussion. Anime, defined as Japanese animation, has used Japan and its culture as the basis for its narrative and style. Even the animation has been uniquely Japanese, developing independently from Western cartoons. So noob, you ask, what would happen to anime if it were banned in Japan? Well, here's my thoughts. It's only when you put it into this situation that we can really see how much of Japanese culture is ingrained into anime. Japanese high school life, festivals, locations, tradition, wordplay, these are all things from Japan that it embraces. Take that away and we have a completely different medium. Now let's presume that these studios have decided to escape Japan due to fear of persecution and have spread across the world. Of course, many would go to the United States. But what if it went further than that? What if anime became truly global? This is a medium that's pretty much restricted to Japan. Any attempts to name Western interpretations like Avatar and Ruby under the same banner meet heavy resistance from the larger community. So what happens once we can no longer use national borders as a definition? Well, the death of anime, of course. No, anime itself won't be dead, but the word will. Cartoons, 3D animation, Japanese animation, it will all blend together and we will see exchanges of tropes and ideas, similar to the way Pantheon Stocking took on heavy western influences, but maybe not quite as extreme. But remember how I mentioned that these companies would go globally? This means not just an evolution of western animation, but an evolution worldwide. This isn't a planet of just cartoons and anime, there's all sorts of styles of animation exclusive to different countries. Take Korea for example, although it's so close to Japan physically, as far as animation goes, it's a whole other world. And when we get to the cultural references, there's going to be huge overhauls. Japanese people won't be able to watch anime anymore, so there's going to be brand new target audiences. Local British anime will show the characters walking around the streets of London, looking for the best place for a curry. Australian anime will feature magical girls being given powers by a kangaroo. It'll be nuts! Animation is global, so when we force a largely established style into the rest of the world, we get what could only be called assimilation. Thank you for watching, of course all credit for this discussion goes to the cynical noob who brought this up in his noob's foreshadowing video. Go and check it out and if you also have an opinion on this, produce a video response and post it in the comments of that video.